Hi, this is Jody from mcpactions.com. Today I'm going to be introducing you to the four seasons for Photoshop. This action set is comprised of four different sections that may be purchased together in the four seasons or separately by buying Spring Splendor, Summer Solstice, Autumn Equinox, or Winter Whirlwind. Once you buy the actions and download them to your computer and unzip them, you will install them into Photoshop. Refer to the installing actions video if you need help. Once they are installed, you will see them as sections. So you'll see a folder for Spring Splendor, a folder for Summer Solstice, a folder for Autumn Equinox, and a folder for Winter Whirlwind if you have bought all four. Also, every single individual set will also come with the season extras. From there, you will want to go ahead and open any of the seasons. Let's go ahead and start with spring. And we're going to go ahead and pull up a photo. And in each section, you will notice that there is a base action and then a section of looks. Go ahead and run the base action. If you've done a lot of editing prior to coming into Photoshop, such as in Adobe Camera Raw or Lightroom, you may end up skipping the base action, but you're welcome to run it and just even turn it off or lower the opacity to taste. Once you've run that, you can open the folder and adjust any of the layers or adjust the opacity or leave it right where it is. Each of the base actions also builds two extra layers. These are need more sunlight and need less sunlight. If your photo is too bright, then you would need less sunlight and you would just toggle the eyeball on and then adjust the opacity to taste. If you have a photo that needs more light, you would just turn the more light on, the more sunlight. Next, you can run any of the looks listed in the spring looks section. For example, we could come in here and run vintage postcards. Then once you've run it, you would adjust the opacity to your liking. I'm going to go ahead in here and turn this down just a bit. Next, I'm going to come in and run another one. Let's go ahead and run Antique. And it's a little bit more haze than I would like, so I'm going to also pull this down to 20 something percent. Now, if it starts to get too bright at that point, you could always increase the needs less sunlight layer. I like the way this is looking though, so we're going to move on. And now we also have the mix and match actions, which we'll explain a little bit later, but those allow you to run all the different, the base plus all the different looks at once. The finishing effects section will help you finish off your images. And for this particular image, we're going to go ahead and run the directional sunlight so you can see that. That one does have built-in directions, but basically it opens up and you're going to pick the sunlight layer you would like and adjust the opacity. So I've picked the right corner angled and you'll see if I turn that on and off that it just gave some light coming in from the right corner. I'd like to add a little bit of contrast. The spring actions are meant to be hazy and light, but I tend to also still prefer some contrast. So I'm going to go into the season extras and I'm going to run hemispheres, which will add some contrast back. And then if you want, you're welcome to adjust the opacity, of course, of that layer. It looks good to me. I'm going to go with it. So this is our spring edit. I'm going to go in here and you'll also see in the workflow helpers that we've got an action called uh, I snapped and that will make a snapshot. You're welcome to do that manually in your history palette as well. It will leave you with a snapshot of your image. We are now going to go back to the original and we're going to go into the summer section. I'm going to show you some other items there. So we open the summer folder. So if you purchase the summer section, the summer solstice, you will have this folder. And this time I'm going to go ahead and show you the light mix and match. Each one has a light and a standard. And we're gonna run summer blend, which is the mix and match for summer. So you'll see the base is on by default, the summer solstice base, and you're welcome to open that and adjust. And from there, we're gonna just try a few. Let's go ahead and turn on sunflower fields. Then putting green, let's go ahead and turn that on. And I'm liking the way that's looking a lot. I want a little bit more depth to this image though. It's summer, I want some bold color. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is go into the finishing effects area. And we're gonna go ahead and run summer burn, which will give you a deep color pop. 
It won't do it by default though. You do need to paint it on just where you want it. So I'm going to come in here with my brush and start painting it on. You're welcome to lower the opacity, which is up at the top of your brush. You'll see right now it's at 100%, but you can lower that down for a more controlled look. For the sake of the video and keeping this fast, I'm gonna leave it pretty high. So I can come in here quickly and just paint and show you the look. You'll wanna make sure that you're getting close to the edges and not hitting any skin. If you do hit the skin, you'll just wanna click your X key, which will inverse your color swatches and basically hide the effect and paint back on the areas where you overspilled. Lastly, I do wanna go back into the season extras. And again, I love that contrast. So I'm gonna go ahead and run hemispheres. And there's the completed summer look. Again, I'm gonna make a snapshot. I'll show you how to do it manually this time if you prefer it. You go under history and click on the little camera icon. Then we're gonna scroll back up to original and start from scratch again. This time I'm going to be showing you the autumn equinox section. Once you open autumn equinox, if you've purchased that section, we're going to go ahead and run, this time let's go ahead and run autumn brew. Autumn brew is the mix and match, which will run the base plus all the looks. So we've got autumn equinox base turned on. Now go ahead, let's go ahead and turn on Japanese maple. The default opacity for that is at 51%, which actually on this image, I really like that. So we're gonna go with it. Next, we're gonna go ahead and turn on one more. Let's try warm cider. And you can see that's giving it a very nice autumn look. Once again, I really wanna add some of those rich jewel tones in. So I'm gonna come into the finishing section and for this section, we've got burnt firewood, which will give you some deep tones. So I'm gonna go ahead and play that. And just like I did in the summer section, I'm going to be painting that onto the image. And again, for the sake of speed, I'm going to do this very quickly, but you will wanna take a little bit more time when you're painting on your photo to make sure you don't spill on skin or anything else. Once we're done painting, you'll see that's given it a nice autumn look. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna actually add a vignette. So I'm gonna run the dark cherry vignette. Let's go ahead and increase this just a tiny bit. And lastly, I still would like that sunlight layer. In this particular section, we've got one called directional glow, and that is going to give you a warm glow from any of the four corners or from either of the left or right sides. Again, for this one, it makes the most sense in my opinion to have it coming from the right corner. So you can see what that did. Okay, now we're going to make our snapshot and move on. So we're gonna go back to the original and lastly, I'm going to show you the winter section. In the winter section, let's go ahead and run Winter Whirlwind, just the base so you can see what that looks like again. And in this base, it's a little bit more complex than the other three bases because it's got a couple layers outside underneath the Winter Whirlwind folder. This allows you for complete customization, creating either black and white, vintage, or a color image. To create the black and white, it will do that by default. However, if you would like, you're welcome to turn off the black and white layer and you'll have color edit, or keep it on and lower the opacity, and you'll see how you can get a vintage image. Let's go ahead and start with our black and white, and we're gonna build upon this and just run a couple of the bases. Let's go ahead with champagne. And I'm gonna leave that at the default. And then let's go ahead and run Peach Cobbler. Again, you'll get used to what the looks do as you play with them. And if you want to play around a little more, the mix and match is always a great way to learn. You'll notice down here under Winter Whirlwind that there's a layer called Details. This is what helps pull out, I'll show you with it off what it does. It helps really pull out details in the black and white, in those shadows and the highlights. You can increase it or decrease it. And so there's our edit. If we wanna add a little more contrast, again, we can go down into the season extras and run hemispheres. And you can see how nice that looks. Now let's go ahead and look at the snapshots that we took. And you can see the transformation of this image. This is the original. This is with Spring Splendor. This is with Summer Solstice. 
autumn equinox, and winter whirlwind. So as you can see, the possibilities are endless. Thank you for watching. This is Jody from mcpactions.com.